There's a reason Peter Bot's gameplay looks smoother than everyone else's, and it's not just raw skill. In this video, we're unpacking the full setup he's using right now in August 2025. Every change, every adjustment, every edge that helps him stay steps ahead of the competition. If you've ever wondered what separates top tier performance from average play, this is exactly where the difference begins. Let's get started. Currently plays Fortnite using windowed full screen mode, a crucial choice for high level performance. It reduces input delay while allowing the GPU to focus entirely on Fortnite, especially helpful when multitasking or switching apps during scrims or tournaments. His resolution is set to a custom 1750 x 1080, which slightly stretches the image horizontally. This stretched res makes enemy hitboxes appear wider and easier to track, especially in chaotic fights. Peterbot disables V-Sync completely, while V-Sync prevents screen tearing, it also introduces significant input lag, not something a top tier Fortnite pro can afford. For a reaction based game like Fortnite, turning it off ensures the lowest possible input latency. Although he owns a 360Hz refresh rate monitor, Peterbot locks his frame rate to 240fps, and there's a reason. Most Fortnite LAN events and online tournaments are capped at 240Hz setups. So by locking to 240, he prepares his muscle memory to match real competitive conditions, leading to better crosshair control and consistency under pressure. To push FPS even higher, Peterbot uses Performance Mode, a setting designed specifically for competitive players. This mode drastically reduces graphical effects, post-processing and lighting complexity, giving cleaner visuals and significantly smoother gameplay. His brightness is set to 105%, which helps tremendously during late zones when the storm makes everything hard to see. Instead of using any colorblind settings, Peterbot sticks with standard color mode, as Fortnite's default visuals already offer clear contrast when paired with his brightness and monitor settings, helping him spot opponents easily in all environments. In the graphics quality section, Peterbot keeps his 3D resolution at 100%, ensuring the game stays sharp and doesn't become blurry or pixelated. His view distance is set to far, giving him the ability to spot enemy structures, rotations, and loot trails from a long distance, critical for IGL decisions and mid-game rotates. Player models don't render past 280 meters, but far view distance still offers strategic advantages. He keeps textures on low, which helps maintain consistent frame rates, especially in heated fights where performance can dip. In game settings, Peterbot disables the pre-edit option to avoid making incorrect edits while building under pressure. He also enables auto-confirm edit on release, a crucial setting that allows faster and more fluid edits without needing extra keybinds. As of August 2025, simple edit mode is still banned from competitive play, so Peterbot continues using traditional edit mechanics he's mastered through years of training. His HUD is clean and efficient, with a HUD scale of 75%. This ensures he sees all necessary info, like materials, ammo, and health, without cluttering the center of his screen. In the audio section, Peterbot uses high sound quality to hear every detail clearly, whether it's reload sounds, footsteps, or storm audio. He disables 3D headphones, which can sometimes distort directionality and instead relies on visualized sound effects, which give on-screen indicators for enemy movement, gunfire, and nearby chests, an essential tool during chaotic fights or when playing with music or external distractions. Peterbot's mouse sensitivity is carefully balanced for speed and precision. His X and Y axis sensitivities are set to 6.4%, which offers fast flicks without losing control. His targeting and scoped sensitivities are both 45%, providing smoother aim while tracking enemies or hitting shots with snipers and DMRs. For building and editing, he keeps both multipliers at 100%, ensuring his muscle memory remains consistent with every piece placed or edited. No unnecessary variation, just raw consistency and control. One of the biggest keys to matching Peterbot's ultra-smooth Fortnite gameplay and high FPS lies in installing the Fortnite Extreme Optimization Pack. 
This exclusive pack is available directly from my official site. Just head over to uptopacks.com and from the homepage, click on the FPS Boost tab at the top. You'll instantly see the same title and thumbnail as this video, so you'll know you're in the right place. Click on it, and with a single tap, the entire optimization pack will begin downloading to your PC. No extra steps needed. Once the download is complete, start by opening the folder labeled Registry Tweaks. Inside, you'll find multiple registry files carefully curated for competitive Fortnite gameplay. Install each one individually by double-clicking them. These tweaks are designed to eliminate unnecessary background tasks, reduce windows overhead, and make your operating system prioritize Fortnite as the main task. These are the same types of deep level system improvements that help Peterbot maintain stable FPS, lower input lag, and smoother responsiveness during chaotic fights or rotating storm zones. After you apply all registry tweaks, you'll notice Windows becomes more responsive and focused, giving you a real in-game advantage. After completing the registry tweaks, return to the main pack folder and open the next directory called Fortnite Priority. This section contains performance tweaks that adjust how your CPU handles Fortnite based on your system's specs. If you're on a low-end PC, install the normal priority version. This balances power without overwhelming your hardware. For mid-range systems, choose medium priority, which pushes more resources to Fortnite without causing stutters. And if you're rocking a high-end setup like Peterbot, go with the high priority tweak. This unlocks your CPU's full strength and ensures Fortnite remains the system's top focus during stacked lobbies, build fights, or late game zones. Selecting the right priority file ensures maximum consistency and FPS delivery based on your PC's power. Now that your system is fully tuned, it's time to fine tune your keyboard input delay using a lightweight but powerful tool called Filter Key Setter. This hidden gem lets you reduce the time it takes between pressing a key and seeing it register in-game, an essential tweak for players who build and edit quickly like Peterbot. To use it, right-click on the Filter Key Setter app and select Run as Administrator. If your PC asks for permission, click Allow. Once the tool is open, navigate to the Settings tab. Set, ignore under to zero, repeat delay to 250Ms and repeat rate to 25Ms. These numbers are ideal for fast-paced Fortnite mechanics, especially when switching weapons, turbo building or editing under pressure. Next, go to the Flag tab and check the box to turn it on. This activates the tweak immediately. Then, move to the Available Turn On section. Enable Use Shortcut, but make sure Confirm Activation is unchecked to avoid any pop-ups mid-game. Also, turn off unnecessary settings like Activation Sound, Show Status, and Key Click, as these do not benefit gameplay and can be distracting. Lastly, in the When Applied drop-down menu, select Save to Registry. This locks in your new input configuration so it stays active even after restarts. Hit OK to confirm everything and now your keyboard input will feel tighter, faster and way more responsive, just like Peterbot's setup. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. 
This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now go to your Windows search bar and type Advanced System Settings. When the option appears, click on it to open the System Properties window. Once you're in, switch to the Advanced tab, then locate the section labeled Performance and click on the Settings button. A new window will pop up. Again, go to its Advanced tab. Here you'll see a section called Processor Scheduling, which controls how your PC prioritizes CPU resources. Make sure the setting is selected as Programs instead of Background Services. This setting plays a major role in gaming performance. If it's left on background services, your PC could end up giving extra CPU attention to background tasks. Things like Windows services or other idle processes running silently. These background processes can silently eat into your system's resources, causing FPS drops, input delay or random lag spikes while you're playing Fortnite. By switching the setting to programs, you're instructing your computer to prioritize active applications, in this case Fortnite. That means your processor will focus more on gameplay, builds and inputs rather than wasting cycles on services you're not even using. The result? Smoother gameplay, lower latency and better frame consistency. This tweak is especially helpful for low-end or mid-tier PCs, where even small changes can have a big impact on performance. If you're chasing Peterbot level smoothness, this step is a must. Now head over to the Windows search bar and type Game Bar Settings. Open it up and simply turn it off. Disabling the Xbox Game Bar prevents it from running unnecessary background services or triggering pop-ups during gameplay. These background tasks might seem harmless, but they can cause micro stutters, frame drops, or slight input delays, especially noticeable during intense Fortnite fights or endgames. Next, in the same search bar, type Game Mode and open the Game Mode settings. Make sure Game Mode is turned on. This built-in Windows feature helps your system automatically prioritize performance for gaming by reducing resource usage from other apps and background services. When enabled, Game Mode ensures Fortnite gets the maximum available power from your system while suppressing non-essential tasks. After that, search for Graphics Settings and open it. Once inside, click on Change Default Graphics Settings and turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This setting allows your GPU to handle its own workload more efficiently, reducing the pressure on your CPU. Enabling it can lead to lower input latency, better frame pacing and a more consistent FPS, especially useful for fast-paced titles like Fortnite, where every millisecond counts. Now while you're still in graphic settings, it's time to manually assign Fortnite to high performance mode. Scroll down to custom options for apps and click browse. Navigate through your files to find Fortnite's executable by going to This PC, your game drive, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64 and select the file named Fortnite client Win64 shipping, XA. Once it's added to the list, click on it, choose options and then select high performance. This step ensures your dedicated GPU is always used instead of integrated graphics and forces Windows to treat Fortnite as a high priority application. As a result, you'll experience improved stability, higher FPS and smoother overall gameplay, exactly the kind of edge players like Peterbot rely on in competitive environments. Alright, that's a wrap for today's video. If this guide helped you out, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more powerful optimization tips. Thanks for watching and as always, stay sharp, stay focused and keep on gaming.